All praise, honor, and glory <clears throat> to Yahweh and Bashim Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations unto the elect. So I have up on the screen here, this guy here. You know, this the name of this video here is You Hebrews Need to Quit Hating. And the apostle, Elder Tahar, did a video on this a couple of days ago. And um, that's how I came across this video, of course. And this guy here, first and foremost, if you go and watch the video, as a man of the Lord using spiritual discernment, this is not a man of the Lord, man. It's easy to quote scriptures. It's easy to say what's right and what's wrong, what you think is what's right and what's wrong. But if you don't have the understanding of the scriptures, as this guy here, you're going to look like a fool, man. Okay, now this scripture that he has it on. Um, so like this scripture that he has it on Colossians chapter three and verse eight. Now he starts to go into that and he magnified the um, matter of fact, I'm just going to read it. It says, um, <clears throat> but now you also put off all these, all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Okay, so what he magnified was um, filthy communication out of your mouth, which, yes, we, we use um, profanity, okay, which which is not going off according to the scriptures. Yahweh Shai, he, he, he was cursing out the scribes, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man, okay? When he called, he called them a generation of vipers, man, you know? That that's the same type of language, you know, um, that we use. Now, certain brothers use it less than others, you know. But you 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 will hear a cuss word or, or a prof, uh, prof, um, a word of profanity here and there sometimes, man. You know, it's an ex, it's more of an expression. But man's not slipping with his tongue. But the reason why I want to dig into that. That he said that no fifty commission communication shall proceed out of your mouth. Okay. We're not going off from the scriptures, man. When you hear hear us say the two thirds are gonna be destroyed, or um these heathen nations, we're gonna we the most high is gonna give his men the spirit to kill and slaughter the heathens, okay? That's what he means by he wants the Hebrews to quit hating, but hey. The Lord hates, man. You know? The Lord hates and the Lord discriminates. The Lord destroys nations. Okay? He don't destroy nations just for no reason, man. He destroyed nations because he hates their works. So I'm, I'm going to get this precept in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Okay? And I believe it's the 14th chapter... And the, um, the sixth or the seventh verse. So let me see here. So this is the book of Wisdom of Solomon. 14 and verse 9. So it says, um, For the ungodly and his ungodliness both uh, are both alike hateful unto Yahweh. Okay? So, some of the works of the ungodly is what? Christmas? New Year's? Okay, uh, birthdays, so on and so forth. Those type of works, the reason why those works and the workers of that, the reason why the Most High hates that is because it's idol worship. It's not of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It's, it's hateful then. Okay? A man that wants to see America bounce, so-called bounce back and prosper for another 15 years, that's a man that doesn't have the spirit of the Lord. That's a man that doesn't have his mind set on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So guess what? That same person and the, his works are, ungod, uh, are hateful unto the Most High. Okay? I'm going to get another scripture in the book of Psalms. 
And this is the book of Psalms. Um, let's see. Book of Psalms. 139. And let me see. Uh, I'm going to start from 20, but the point is in 21. And it's a good read. It says, For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Okay? It says, Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee? So who are the people that hate the Lord, man? The heathens don't love the Lord. That's for damn sure. Okay? Because they made a tumult against the Lord's chosen people. Those that don't keep the law, such as the commandments, those that don't attempt to sincerely keep the law, statutes, and commandments hate the Lord. Because the Lord uh, uh, um, the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So if you don't keep the commandments, then what does that say about you? That says that you, you hate the Lord. Okay? But that's exactly why we push out this so-called um, hatred that he's talking, man. It's, hate is very necessary. That's why the world is all jacked up now because everybody wants to love and be in cahoots when the world doesn't work like that. That didn't work with the Native Americans when Esau came over here, when Christopher Columbus came over here. He was showing them how to live, man. Trying to trying to show love unto the heathen, and guess what happened, man? They were they were slaughtered on a massive on a massive scale, man. So it's, hate is very necessary. That's another way you sh you can tell that he's not a man of understanding. It says, "Am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies." Which is simple, man. So, no, we're not going to quit hating, man. And another thing that he mentioned, you know, before I close, that, close this lesson out, um, once he brought up this, this scripture and the filthy communication, he said that they're, um, you, you're supposed to edify. Well, how, well, well, tell me this. How did the apostles, if they're not edifying, they're, they're, they're so um, ready to use quote unquote filthy communication then why did this why did the most high put the spirit on them to be able to go into these different prophecies and these different um these different um books of history that we have man and they match up that's very edifying man edifying is to build up when you know your history that does what that makes you stronger that makes you a better man of the Lord man but somebody that tells me that we need to quit hating, that's not somebody that's going to edify me, man. You, you, can't get, you can't learn from that. The Most High is a man of balance. So like, like I said, and I say again, there is a necessary hatred. Okay, so the, the, the man the hell up, man. It says nor effeminate, effeminate men are not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven, man. This is a man that's probably trying to please, uh, please his damn woman, please his congregation. Okay, I could be wrong, but this 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 is the spirit, man. Because he's clearly not in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, and these prophecies are coming to pass. So these type of men, the Lord's gonna do, uh, he's gonna do away with these type of men because they're not in the right spirit. Okay, so I'm going I'm going to leave it there, man. Um. Like I said right here, I had it on the screen, left it up on the screen. You go and check out the video if you want to. But um that that's my take on this guy, man. So with that being said, I say how about Shimia Shai brought a thumb to you. Sincere Akim out there. Call Halayum, Yahabashim Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well and that teach well and that edify well. And salutations unto the elect Akim. Shalom.